Yeah, okay, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Well, what's the word? So as it turns out, we're getting a new puppy. And if there's one thing we know from our Border Terrier, Cromwell, is that puppies are maniacs. <laughs> They're maniacs. He wasn't always the refined gentleman of leisure you see before you now. So now that Cromwell is all grown up, we don't have his puppy pen anymore. We decided to make a design that's multifunctional for a growing puppy and based off of all the reclaimed wood that we've got in the backyard. So let's get to the build. All done. Give it the old dipping brush. Now that we've got a few, let's put them together and see how they work. Gotcha! Ugh, okay. Well, I think we could use some sides. Are coming. Speedy! Gonzalez. Does it help if I make the noises? Yeah. Whee! All right, I'm gonna take down my side. Yep. Remove the tension to the outside. Mm-hmm. I hope it doesn't explode under tension. Mm-hmm. <gasps> cool.
All right, what's next? Next, we're gonna go off into the deep, dark jungle and search for the puppy beast. show you some of the other configurations that our pen can do. Bring me the puppy. There's many ways to make a multifunctional dog pen crate. But this is our two cents on how we contained our puppy beast. <laughs> Not that one, though. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye.